Natural law places certain individuals in a position of ultimate power, and they get there due to a variety of factors, many of them very dark in nature. All, of course, just inbuilt instinctive mechanisms to protect their own DNA, with background commands from those pesky strands of doom to infect some other poor bugger with the syndrome of life, and ultimately to guard those squirts too. The people in positions of ultimate power are generally having a good time here, self-actualized beings who can damn near do whatever they want. They control the reins that direct society, and in having such power they have naturally always tried to stamp out any rebellion from the groundswell of grassroots dissent against them, and now they fight against those trying to argue against the very creation of life itself. As any argument against life is an argument against natural law and its manifestation of a society, a world, that favors them. The powerful few at the cost of the many. There is nothing humans hate more than the thought of losing that which they love, be it people, prestige, lifestyle, material assets, opportunities, or whatever. This is true no matter where one finds oneself in the social hierarchy, we guard what we love and value and do not easily give it up. It is our natural instinct. And so, as a whole, the hive of humanity works for its queen bees. The queen bees want their royal jelly, and they enjoy eating it. They relish picking other bees to copulate with at will and enjoy watching the clockwork precision of all the intricate mechanisms of society working for them, satisfying them. They love it and they will never let it go. Only nature will stop them and the final blow to their power. It won't come from man's word or hand. The powerful always guard against that. No, it will come from a force in nature greater than even them. Three and a half billion years of evolution have crafted life to work as it does. And it's not about to change now. Only something outside of life itself can end what it is that life brutally does to life time and time gain.